Hello YouTubers, it's Flyer556 here tuning in again. I'm going to make a quick simple video today on the difference between a full auto M16 bolt carrier group assembly and a semi auto bolt carrier group assembly. These are both stag arms bolt carrier groups. The top one is a full auto M16 bolt carrier group and the bottom one is a semi-auto bolt carrier group. Once again these are both Stag 15 bolt carrier groups. They look identical on top but as I'm going to show I'm going to take the top bolt here and turn it sideways so you can see the top and bottom with a side image. Okay and as you can see here the metal in the rear of the top of this bolt carrier group and the metal in the rear of the bottom of this bolt carrier group is the same amount, the same length from back to front. That's the main difference. Now I'm going to show you the other one which is the semi-auto bolt carrier group. You see the metal on the top from back to front, it's the same as the full auto. But when you roll it over and look to the bottom you see how much less metal there is there? Let me try and get a better picture. There's much less there. That's a semi-auto bolt carrier group. And the reason it's a semi-auto bolt carrier group is because let me lay these both like this so you can see the difference. Now remember the top one is the full auto and the lower one here this is the semi-auto. The reason for this is because to make the AR-15 or M16 full auto you would drop a sear into the rear of the lower receiver and when this bull carrier group goes back and forth this one with the large mass of metal here will catch that sear as the bolt closes and locks up and as long as the trigger is hold down it'll continuously fire because this will be this will be triggering the sear in the rear of the lower receiver to make it fire full auto. Now this one on the other hand the metal stops right here and this one would not work in an M16 or a full auto M4 because th there's not enough metal here it would have to come up to here to trigger that that sear in the lower receiver to make it fire. Therefore this right here is a semi-auto bull carrier group. Um, pretty much that's the only main difference in a full auto and a semi-auto bull carrier group. The only other advantage to this full auto bull carrier group here is I've been told by more than one person and watched a lot of videos about this is this is a good idea to use even in a semi-auto AR-15 because it's more balanced. It's the same weight on the top and bottom. And um, it also slows down the rebound slightly because it's heavier. There's more mass to it. And by slowing things down, it gives the magazine a chance to react and send the next cartridge up so it can be caught by the bolt and sent in to the chamber. Um, Basically though, the main difference between these two bolt carrier groups is this top full auto bolt. It has got the same mass on the bottom and top in the rear. And that's your big difference. Whereas this one here only has half the mass. And that bolt carrier group right here will not reset that, trigger that sear to fire full auto. That's the differences. And that's about it for this video. I'm going to keep it short and simple. And uh, these are Stag 15 AR 15 bolt carrier groups. And that's the difference.